So the latest streaming numbers are now showing that Netflix has over 200 million subscribers. Disney Plus is now promoting they have 95 plus million subscribers. Hulu has 39 million subscribers. Peacock has, I think, 13 million. And we're growing and growing as it goes along. So the cord cutting continues. The streaming is continuing as well. I know people that have already started this week to go ahead and cut their cable in favor of streaming. It's already coming and happening. And it's making some of these corporate-owned companies that are streaming themselves, they're making changes. Uh, Tubi, which is a uh, Fox and Disney-owned, they're doing a thing where they're going to add 25 different local channels so you can watch local news on the, the said Tubi network. That's one thing they're going to be doing. And ESPN Plus, oh, they're not going to make anybody happy. Well, but again, they're losing subscribers by the boatload. They have been cutting and laying off people and ESPN in Bristol, Connecticut on its own, including Dan Lebatard, which is one of the most viewed videos that ever happened on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash J-B-R-A-S-C-O-951. Well, ESPN this year is going to be putting an extra price on their subscriber revenue, and they're going to be selling off broadcasting rights. So here's a few things that are happening around that with ESPN+. Plus. They're going to double the subscriber revenue from last year. They're already moving their price right now. ESPN's price increase will be going from forty nine ninety nine to fifty nine ninety nine, and their Disney bundle now, which includes ESPN Plus, is now thirteen ninety nine a month starting in March. And add-ons like UFC pay per views have also increased by five dollars to sixty nine ninety nine. That's cr- seventy dollars for a UFC pay per view. Wow, that is crazy. And also, ESPN Plus is looking to pare down. Offerings to eliminate lean sports, so the X Games, which you've had the rights for 25 years, they're going to let that go. X Games is going to go somewhere else. I wonder who will pick it up. Hmm. And a report from the information suggests that Disney will continue to focus more on mainstream sports like Monday Night Football and let other niche sports that don't drive subscriber sales be sold off. So more Major League Sports, less of the, you know, probably less poker, probably less billiards, probably less bowling. No, bowling will probably stay around. Uh... Yeah, the Professional Bowlers Tour, I guess that'll still stay around. But yeah, there's just certain things that are not going to be around. We're just going to hold off on it. And one of the stories that comes up as well in streaming that you should keep an eye on, which is something that we thought was going to happen at some point, but of course the pandemic has really has accelerated everything. So Gizmodo puts the story out, Katie Keck writes it, saying get ready for your streaming services to merge. So here is what she's saying. There are sources familiar with the matter that say that NBC Universal's recently launched Peacock service have explored ways to include to boost subscriber base, adding the outlet is right now its monthly active ad supported accounts subscriptions around 11.3 million. That's lower than all the other streaming services right now, and the Peacock ad supported subscription feature as being included in the end was included in the NBC Universal presentation internally. According to a statement from Gizmodo, a spokesperson for NBCU characterized the figure as inaccurate and low. So Peacock might grow subscriptions merge or bu- by merging or bundling with another firm or service. The information reported, and this is a blog, the information, they said that NBC Universal has pitched Viacom CBS about bundling with CBS All Access about the relaunch as Paramount Plus and those horrible ads about the Paramount Mountain, right, at a discounted rate. A pitch that evidently piqued Viacom CBS's interest for potential offering in overseas markets. But the outlet also cited NBC Universal chief Jeff Shell prior to taking his current position, telling colleagues that the company would need to merge with Warner Media to remain competitive. The information did, however, note that there's no indication such a deal has been proposed and that Shell's position has changed. So, nevertheless, smaller firms are exploring potential mergers to help their services better compete in the space, as comes as no surprise. When legacy brands like CBS, NBC, and even Discovery, uh, you know, which NBC Universal is also reaching about, go ahead and licensing. Because if, if you didn't know, I've talked about this in my broadcaster's podcast, and I don't think I've talked about it on one of my podcasting, but the WWE Network, the WWE, the preeminent res- pro wrestling uh, company, which is getting, what is it, about half a billion dollars they get right now to the rights to run their Monday night program, Monday Night Raw, on the USC Network, 
and the NXT show, which is their developmental system in some way, shape, or form, or more of their indie-rific type system, alternative to their main roster product. They're getting over half a billion dollars on that over the next five years, and they're getting a billion dollars for the next the next uh, in a five year contract right now with Fox to run the SmackDown program on Friday nights on Fox on their prime time lineup. And now the network, which has been a standalone streaming service, has now been picked up by NBC Universal to move their network and embed it into Peacock. And so that all the subscribers will go over there and order Peacock there. And because of the ad supported function that they think more people will go ahead and buy the $5 a month option as opposed to paying $10 a month like they were going to do with the network as a standalone. Or eventually we were going to have to pay a higher fee because we were going to put out premium tiers of the network. But now they don't know how to do that. So if Disney and if Netflix and Disney are the de facto primary services to which subscribers pay a monthly fee to avoid cable, it leaves little room for other services to squeeze their way in. So there will be the cost of maintaining multiple services will exceed what somebody will pay for cable, which doesn't make a lot of economic sense. This is why we're going to see bundling. I always said bundling was going to happen eventually, just like they did with cable. They're going to do the same thing with streaming. It's just a matter of time for them to make this work. So there's only so much content anyone can reasonably watch, particularly for households on a budget. It makes more sense to subscribe to just a handful of services than pay a large monthly fee to maintain subscriptions that are, aren't being used. So which services might try to team up the win over subscribers? Here's what they're talking about. So Peacock could partner with Paramount Plus or Discovery Plus and HBO Max. Though to be fair, since didn't seem that much at all when AT&T thought when they put out HBO Max, you know, they risk tarnish, tarnishing a legacy brand with confusing branding and even ads that a HBO NBC hybrid service would probably sound ludicrous, but it's not the case now. Then there's the ads issue. Peacock is a service with two ad supported tiers, one for $5 a month and one that's free. And Paramount Plus and Discovery Plus include plans with ads as of right now. HBO Max does not. And ads are coming and could arrive as soon as this year if the company falls through on plans so some of these streaming services are going to go ahead with paywalls but I, I still think that's kind of going against the purpose you know they're doing this because they have to lowball themselves because they're not as heavy on content or they don't have a lot of new content to work off of like a netflix does or disney plus does for that matter and you know there's a thing that has to be said about that so HBO Max executives did explore a merger that would making all the broadcast and license stuff ad supported, shoving the more premium projects behind a paywall. HBO Max isn't crushing in the subscription department right now. Activations are just over 17 million. So mergers are coming. Nobody's keeping a streaming service out alive out of the goodness of their heart. So bundling is the next thing coming up for streaming. If this is all happening at breakneck speed, we will see new relationships, new mergers with streaming services down the line. Just wait till the end of 2021. You'll see a couple of streaming services come together. Okay. They will come in a joint force to go ahead and get people together to go ahead and buy their uh, subscription. That's what's going to happen. I'll leave it there. Come back for another one. I'm not podcasting very soon. Remember YouTube is there. Please go ahead and subscribe because I'm hoping to get to hundred subscribers so I can monetize this bad boy on the video side. I already monetized it over here on this side, on the audio side for the podcasters. And it's just another place I want to go ahead and get another pipeline to get some money coming in. And again, I keep putting back into the product. And hopefully I can do more things to interact with all of you. Please feel free to interact with me, kingofpodcasts at yahoo.com, or find my Twitter, or Facebook, or Instagram at kingofpodcasts. And I'll talk to you next time.